Ah, a camera. A camera's following me in my studio. That must mean a video blog, I would assume. Anyway, there's somebody stood on a chair higher than me filming down. I, and uh, hello, everybody. Um, here I am in my little home studio doing what they call a video blog. And this is really an answer to um, Joseph's great question about Phil Collins and uh, what it was like to work with Phil Collins on my album In the House of Stone and Light. Well, the simple answer to that is it was great. Um, he's a lovely man and he made the whole process really um, a beautiful situation and, and easy to do. I was a great fan of Phil Collins right back, as you probably know from the early Genesis days, the, the time of Peter Gabriel, Foxtrot, Nursery Crime, and I have uh, fond but also um, terrifying memories of lining up outside the Southampton Gaumont all night, standing out in the freezing cold around you know the old theatre until Genesis, were, to get my tickets to watch Genesis play. Um, that was the Selling England by the Pound uh, tour. And I remember my father came like four o'clock in the morning and brought me some hot milk or hot tea to keep me going. That's how dedicated we were to see this iconic band. Well, watching Phil play drums back then, I never dreamt that he would be involved working with me. I did think um, he was England's greatest drummer at that time. And people tended to say Genesis or Yes, there's Bill Bruford and there was um, Phil Collins. I always thought Phil Collins was funky and he had a melodic sense to him. Um, so, zooming up to the time when I did House of Stone and Light, I was in a restaurant and Phil was in the restaurant too and uh, um, I thought I'm gonna go and have a chat to one of my heroes. So I went across to the table and we had a nice conversation. He was very, very, very easy going. You know, you don't ever get the feeling that you're dealing with uh, some kind of superstar. He's just so normal down to earth. Um, what came uh, up in the conversation was I had a band about to record on my album, which I loved, an unusual um, underground band, the Blue Nile from Scotland, and he loved that group as well. And I said, well, they're going to be at the studio to work with me. And this really encouraged him to want to get involved. And uh, he said, I'd love to play on your tracks. He's that kind of guy. Um, and so he came to my house to rehearse. Um, into the studio, into my kitchen, and uh, basically uh, he said, play me the tracks that I'm going to be working on, and he um, ended up hitting his legs to the rhythm of these tracks and saying, what do you think? And I'm going, very nice knees, very good legs, but I want you to play drums. I, I'm not hiring you to play your bloody legs. Um, but this is the way he was just getting into the vibe, and that's the way he works. Next day we were at, I, I, I think it was A&M Studios, we, we had to get him the right drum kit, drum, right drum kit, right drumsticks, and he played on three tracks on the album. A lot of people think that he played on the actual single in the House of Stone and Light, but he didn't. He played on Light in Your Heart, um, I Was Made For You, and then he added um, some ex a, a special tom fills on uh, Shape the Invisible uh, with my other drummer, who played amazing throughout the album, Jimmy Copley. And Jimmy Copley was also a great fan of Phil Collins, so I had, in my mind, the two greatest drummers for that record. Um, and all I can say about Phil is I thought I'd known him for years. He was so down to earth, so real, just wanted to work, um, loved music, loved collaborating, had a great team of people around him, um, just a super guy. And uh, we stayed in touch after. He became a very, very good friend. And every time he came into LA to do his concerts, He'd ring up and say, um, you know, come along. And I'd say, well, I'll come along as long as you're playing your drum kit and not your legs. Your legs I've had enough of. But it was a... <laughs> it's funny, out of all that stuff, I just got a man hitting his legs. I'm going, this is Phil Collins hitting his legs. We sat in the kitchen for a good hour just talking about music. Um, but it's one of those sweet things, Joseph, where when you get to work with people that um, you've watched in your youth and marveled at and it's lovely to come across them and realize that they're very normal people that just love music so I hope that answers your question and uh, that was fun to answer it because it brought back a lot of memories of how good it was to work with uh, a super guy cheers see you all soon bye bye